In this video, we will discuss how we can find the boundary traversal of a binary tree. So in boundary traversal, we print the boundary nodes of the tree in anti-clockwise direction starting from the root. So A is the root node and this is the anti-clockwise direction. So the boundary nodes are node A, D, H, K, N, P, M, R, B, C and Z. So basically this is the left boundary and this is the right boundary and this is the bottom boundary. So combination of left, bottom and right boundary gives us the boundary traversal. So we can see here the boundary traversal is the nodes which are highlighted in red. And we have to make sure that there are no duplicate nodes. For example node A will come both in the left boundary and the right boundary. So all the nodes should only come once. So we have to find an algorithm which can print the boundary traversal of any given binary tree. Let's see how we can do that. So the algorithm is in the first step we have to print the root node. So A is the root node. So we print node A. Now in the second step we have to print the left boundary in top down manner except the root and the leaf nodes. So this is the left boundary. So except A and N we have to print these nodes. So it will be D, H and K. Then the third step is we have to print all the leaf nodes in the in order manner. So the leaf nodes are node N, P, M and R. So we have to print these nodes. And then the last step is we have to print the right boundary in the bottom of manner except the root and the leaf nodes. So this is the right boundary. So except R and A we have to print all the other nodes in the bottom of manner. So we'll print B, C and Z. So this is our boundary traversal. Now let's see these steps individually. So the first step is simple we print the root node. So we print A. Then the second step is we have to print the left boundary in the top down manner except the root and the leaf nodes. So this is the pseudocode for the left boundary. So the first call to this left boundary function is for the node D. Because root we have already considered in the first step. So to this left boundary function we will pass the left of A which is D. We check if node is null and then we check left of node which is H. So H is not equal to null we come inside and then we print the value of node. So we print D and then we call this left boundary function with the left of D which is H. So the node becomes H. Then we check if node is null. We check left of H. So left of H is null. So this if condition is false. And then we check right of H. So right of H is K. We come inside and then we print the value of node which is H. And then we call this left boundary function for right of H which is K. We check if K is null. Then we check left of K. So left of k is not equal to null. We come inside. We print the value of node which is k. And then we call this left boundary function for node n. We check if node is null. Then we check left of n. Left of n is null. So this if condition is false. And then we check right of n. Right of n is also false. So now the function called to n ends. We go back to k. Then we go back to h. We go back to d. And then we go back to a. So this is our left boundary except the root and the leaf nodes. So this part we have seen here. So we are printing the node before we go in the left or before we go in the right. So we are printing in pre-order traversal form because you have to go in the top down manner. So first we have to visit the node then we go in the left or the right subtree. So here we are checking left is not equal to null or right is not equal to null because we do not want to print the leaf nodes. So here you saw that we did not print n. Left of n is also null and right of n is also null. So none of these if or else condition will pass for n. So in this manner we print the left boundary from the top down except the root and the leaf nodes. Now let's check the third step where we have to print the leaf nodes. So now we are at the third step. So we have to print the leaf nodes in the in order manner. So the leaf nodes are n, p, m and r. So this is a simple in order traversal we will just check the left subtree and then when we are printing it we are checking if it is a leaf node. 
So we check if left is equal to null and right is also equal to null, then we print it. So for nodes n, p, m, and r, this if condition will be true and we will print them. And then we go in the right subtree. So this is a simple in order traversal in which we go left, root, and right. So I made a separate video on the in order traversal. If you have any doubts on how this in order traversal works, the link of that will be in the top right corner and in the description. Since we have already printed the root node, so the call to this leaf nodes function will be done twice. So for the leaf nodes left of root, so this is D and right of root, which is Z. So once for this subtree and once for this subtree. Because we have already printed root and we do not want to have any duplicates. So we'll call this function twice, once for the left subtree and once for the right subtree, and then we'll print all the leaf nodes. Now let's check the fourth step in which we have to print the right boundary in bottom up manner. So now we are at the fourth step and we have to print the right boundary in the bottom up manner. So here as you have to print the right boundary, we'll have to traverse the right subtree first and then we'll go to the left subtree and we'll print the node in the post order traversal form because we want to traverse till the bottom first. Let's see how this algorithm works. So the first call to this function will be for the node Z because root we have already printed. So we have to process the right subtree and the first node of the right subtree is node Z. Then we check if the node is null and then we check right of Z is not equal to null. So we come inside and we call right boundary function with the right of Z, which is C. So we go to C. So now the node is C. We check if C is null. Then we check right of C. So right of C is null. We come in the else statement and we check left of C. So left of C is not equal to null. So we call this function for the left of C, which is B. For B, we check if node is null. Then we check right of B. So right of B is null. Then we check left of B. So left of B is not equal to null. We call this right boundary function for the left of B, which is R. So now the node is R. We check if the node is null. Then we check the right of R. So right of R null. And then we check left of R. So left of R is also null. So now the function called to R ends and we go back to B. So now here we see that since R was a leaf node, so we have skipped the printing of R by using these if else conditions. So the left call to B has end. So now we have to print the node B. And then the function called to B ends. We go back to C. Now we have to print the node C. Then we go back to Z. So now this function call has ended. So now we print the value of node, which is Z. And then the function call to Z ends. So this is our right boundary that we have obtained except the root node and the leaf nodes. So now the combination of all these four steps gives us the boundary traversal. And time complexity of the boundary traversal is order of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. Now, once you've understood the algorithm, let's have a look at the implementation. So all the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, I've created this tree. The root node is A, left of A is D. In this manner, I've initialized all the nodes of the tree. Then I call this function boundary traversal in which I pass the root node. In this function, I check if the root is null, then I return. Then the first step, I print the root node. Then I call this function print left boundary in which I pass the left subtree. So I pass node D. Then I call this functions print leaves for the left and the right subtree. Then I call this print right boundary function in which I pass the right subtree rooted at Z. So let's first see the function print left boundary. In this function, I first check if the node is null, then I return. Then I check if there is left node present, then I print it. And then I again go in the left subtree. And in the else part, I check if the right node is there. I print the right node and then I go in the right subtree. So I traverse this print left boundary in the pre-order manner. So first I print it, then I go in the left or the right subtree. In the print leaves function, it is simply a in order traversal. I go to the left, then I check if it is a leaf node. So left and right are null, then I print it, and then I go to the right subtree. And the last print right boundary function, I check if the node is null, then I return. Then I first go in the right, 
and it reverse in the post order form. So first I go to the right subtree and then I print it. Similarly, I check if the left node is not equal to null, then I go in the left and then I print it. So in the left boundary, I'm traversing in the pre-order manner. For the leaves, I'm traversing in the in-order manner. And for the right boundary, I'm traversing in the post-order manner. Now let's see the output of this program. So the boundary traversal is A, D, H, K, N, P, M, R, B, C, Z. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.